earth and the moon our solar system we know that the solar system consists of eight planets their moons and other heavenly bodies such as asteroids comets meteors planetoids etc the earth and moon are unique in many ways we have gained a lot of knowledge about the solar system and the universe because of modern space explorations the earth and the moon the earth and its only natural satellite the moon have a major influence on the existence of life on earth let us learn more about them the earth is spherical and has a diameter of 12756 kilometers like the earth the moon is also a sphere a much smaller one than the earth the moon's diameter of 3476 kilometers is roughly a little more than one fourth of the earth's diameter the moon revolves around the earth in an elliptical orbit the average distance of the moon from the earth is 3 lakhs 84400 kilometers the farthest distance is 4 lakhs 5500 kilometers and the closest distance is 3 lakhs 63300 kilometers the moon the moon is surrounded by a vacuum and lacks an atmosphere it has no liquid water on its surface the surface temperatures on the moon are extreme all these conditions on the moon possibly do not support life the absence of air on the lunar surface makes the moon a dry lifeless and very quiet place as sound cannot travel in the absence of air or any medium effects of moon on the earth formation of tides and phenomenon of eclipse are the two effects of moon on the earth tides the various phases of the moon are accompanied by the formation of tides the tides in the oceans occur due to the gravitational force of the sun and the moon the full moon and the new moon cause the ocean waters to rise higher as compared to the first and the last quarter phases of the moon twice a day the ocean waters rise and fall during high and low tides respectively this tidal cycle lasts for about 24 hours and 50 minutes due to this high or low tides occur every 12 hours 25 minutes the knowledge of tides holds great value especially for fishermen and sailors spring tides and neap tides during the full moon and new moon phases the sun the earth and the moon align in a near straight line so twice a month the tidal level is slightly higher than the average in both the phases the gravitational forces of the moon 
and the sun combine to exert a stronger gravitational force on the oceanic waters and produce the highest high tides and the lowest low tides. These are called the spring tides. During the first and the last quarter phases, the moon and the sun are perpendicular, that is, at right angles to each other, and therefore their respective gravitational forces cancel each other. This results in a lower tidal range than the average. The lower gravitational pull produces the lowest high tide and highest low tide. These are called neap tides. Shadows We have learnt that the moon is visible from the earth because the moon reflects the sun's light. Let us understand more about how shadows are formed on earth. Shadows are dark shapes of an opaque object or a body that comes between a source of light and the surface on which the shadow falls. Shadows are always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. How are shadows formed? Shadows are formed because light travels in a straight line. An opaque object does not allow light to pass through. This forms an imprint of that object on a surface opposite to light source. The farther the light source, the longer is the shadow made by the object. We observe that the smallest shadow is formed when the sun is exactly overhead. A shadow is always a two-dimensional imprint of the object. Eclipse An eclipse is a natural phenomenon that gives a unique opportunity to study and understand the effect of light in nature. It occurs due to the positions and the shadows of the earth, the moon and the sun with respect to one another. Lunar Eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth comes in between the sun and the moon. During a lunar eclipse, the earth casts its shadow on the moon. Consequently, either the entire visible surface of the moon appears dark, that is, total lunar eclipse, or a part of it appears dark, that is, partial lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse takes place only on a full moon night, but not on every full moon night. A total lunar eclipse can last for a duration of around 1 hour and 45 minutes. Solar Eclipse A solar eclipse occurs when the moon comes in between the sun and the earth. As a result, the moon blocks the sun's light from falling on certain regions of the earth. For the people in these regions, the sun appears to be blocked by the moon for some time. This is called a solar eclipse. During the solar eclipse, we are unable to see the sun in the sky and the day appears a little dark for some time. A solar eclipse can last for around 7 minutes 
and 31 seconds. The solar eclipse occurs only on a new moon day, but not on every new moon day.